If your GetResponse account includes the multimedia feature, you can store up to 100 megabytes of audio, video, photos, and documents within the account and add them into follow-up and newsletter messages in just a few simple clicks. To access media files, go to Multimedia in the menu bar. They're divided into sections for audio and video, photos, and documents. To keep media organized, galleries can be added to each section, and at least one gallery must exist before media can be stored. Documents include files like PDFs, which will be linked in messages for contacts to view or download. To upload a document, first create or select a gallery. Click the Upload File button and locate the file on your computer. The storage space used and remaining is displayed above the multimedia area. Photos include most popular formats such as JPEG and PNG files. They can be inserted directly into the content of messages, so no external image hosting is required. To add photos, create or select a gallery, then click the Upload Files button and locate the image on your computer. To preview or delete an uploaded photo, simply hover over the icon. Audio and video files can be recorded live using just your microphone or webcam and no special software is needed. Create or select a gallery, then click Add New Recording. The recording tool appears in the center of the page. First, click Allow so that Adobe Flash can have permission to access your webcam. Use the tabs at the top to choose between video or audio recording. Go to the Settings tab to set the audio and video quality and select which camera and microphone to use if the computer has multiple input devices. Click Apply Settings when finished. Go to either the Audio or Video tab and when ready click the Record button. A three second countdown is displayed and then the recording begins. Pause and resume the live recording at any point and click Stop when finished. Click play to preview the recording, and if it sounds okay, click Next Step to continue. Enter a name for the recording, and click Save. Preview or delete recordings by moving the mouse pointer over the icons. Now, let's take a look at how the stored multimedia files can be inserted into messages. In the Message Editor, click the Multimedia button in the toolbar. For audio and video recordings, move the mouse over the icon and click Add. A preview appears in the message so contacts can click to listen or watch. To add photos, click the Multimedia button, go to the Photos tab and then choose the gallery name. Move the mouse over the icon and click Add. The photo will appear full-sized in the editor, but can be easily scaled. For best results, resize and crop your photo before uploading to GetResponse. To add documents, click the Multimedia button, go to the Documents tab, and choose the gallery name. Move the mouse over the icon and click Add. An icon representing the document appears in the message. Contacts can simply click the icon to download or view the document, so add some descriptive text nearby.